Hello everyone, it's Steam 27 Sorry I didn't update daily uh, yesterday. Had some uh, real life problems. Some problems that actually might prevent me from uploading daily from now on. But uh, right now, uh, that's there's no conclusions made, so we don't know yet. We're gonna talk to Angela here. Got her the yell and wood so she can read our fortune now. Death in our future, and a chase. Elves, dwarves, a desert, and a dragon. And therefore, Angela decides she's going to join our party, just like that. And Aragon breaks the fourth wall. All of Katrina's points will be added to Angela now. Angela is supposed to be good at using herbs, but I say to hell with that, and I actually give her magic. The reason for this is because there's a certain magic book in here that requires a lot of magic. Uh, not this one. This one here is ridiculous. It requires a focus of 76, which is impossible at this point. So don't even pay any attention to that. If we head all across town, though, we'll be able to find some magic books. The one over here should teach me something weird. Gars... Garsdra, Garsdra. I don't even know what that does. We'll look at the spells after we're done. I actually have a uh, save, save data where I allocated all of Brom's points, finally, and he's a pretty, pretty boss. This is the spell I was talking about. That spell is called Weak Spot, and it's a buff, actually, for a uh, party member. It allows that party member to do double damage for the next hit he does, uh, next combo he does, which is pretty important since characters like Angela aren't really good at attacking, no matter what happens, no matter what you give her. And therefore, if she's cast Weak Spot on a party member, they can do double damage instead, which is pretty awesome. I like that spell a lot. Over here we get... Life's Energy? I think that's a heals the entire party's HP at the cost of your own magic. Kinda sucks. And this one is... This one is Prism, which is an area of effect water type magic. Let's go take a look at all our spells we have now. Okay, no, not that. Party. Abilities. Okay, we have Brissinger, Prism, Hina is Poison. Oh, Hajarta, that one debuffs target attack. Garzdra, removes one negative status effect. Okay, so that cures. Weak spot, hits for two times the damage. We already knew Heil. Life's energy heals the party. Curve arrows absorbs a whole one range attack, so it blocks arrows. That's pretty cool. Blocking arrows seems pretty cool. Alright, but I am going to reset the game now. Alright. Because I have another data outside of the town at the Bone Spire, that place with all the little wizard people, the purple and green ones that kicked our butt before. Now we can fight them. And they give us some pretty good stuff. So I want to beat them up now. Here's my actual save data. What's the glycy? I'll show you what Brom can do now. Brom's pretty amazing. So here we are, we're fully healed. Brom is level 54. I spent all his points. He got 20 in weapon and now he has 31 in endurance. Once he hits 35 in endurance, I'll probably go back to weapon again. He now has a new ability called Loss. You can get this at weapon skill 12. Not that it matters, but you know, the same. So here we go. To win this fight, you have to be lucky. Lucky enough that the mages in the back don't cast an area of effect fire spell. Okay, AB is lost, it will hit everyone on the screen. It's pretty good. Alright, that guy's done. And that one is casting Cometesian, which is okay. I'd rather take Cometesian than the incredible fire spell. That they use. I forget its name. Ow. I don't know what that spell does. I guess it's curving arrows, but oh well. Lux. Rom surprisingly still doesn't do as much damage as I would like him to do. It's weird, even though he has a higher level of weapons now. But oh well. Alright, that guy's gone, and now we can start hacking away at these mages. Messing that one up. Hopefully my sword will stun this guy. Never mind, I'll kill him. B A 
might be. Alright, most excellent. And we defeated the enemies at the Bow and Spire, those minions. For that we get a black card reusable by Murtag, who isn't in our party right now, but now you know. Uh, spoiler alert, there's going to be a character named Murtag in this game that who will join our party. Get Black Iron, which is an armor usable by Zephyra, a Ghost Man usable by Angela, and a Regal Cape. I'm going to give the Regal Cape to Brom. I'm going to give Zephyra the Black Iron. Actually, no, I changed my mind. I'm going to use... Actually, no. Scrimshaw's good. Keep that. I'm going to use... Regal Cape on Brom. Increase his defensive abilities a little even more. And give Zephyra the Black Iron, which is a much better piece of armor. Remember those guys at the dock? We're gonna pay those guys a visit as well. As soon as I get past these guys and get to get to a town I can rest at. It's odd. You can't actually rest at a major town. You have to go to one of these towns that don't matter at all, so you can rest. Like that. And then go back to the actual town that matters. Kinda stupid. Kinda stupid. But oh well. Now that we can now that we're doing that, we can go back to town. Have Angela join us instead. And we can go fight those guys at the dock now that we have a third party member. Angela will never join you on the map, ever. She never joins you. Because Saphira is here. She'll never be here when Saphira is here. Since Saphira cannot go into towns, Angela will go uh, instead. Like this. See? Angela's waiting for us. Alright, and Angela has joined the party. So, I'm gonna give Angela that ghost band now. Yeah, she has no health. Got to worry about that later. Ghost band. It's pretty awesome. Does a lot. Does a lot for her. Uh, we got an iron staff earlier. Don't know if you remember that, but that's for Angela. And I'm gonna use these health twos. Oh, one health two on Angela. Apparently she didn't need any more. We're going to go ahead and take out these guys by the dock. I am going to save, though. You never know what might happen. So here we go. After this, we can go talk to Giad and uh, finally progress with the game. But we had a lot to do in Tyrim, more than you might imagine. Now that we have Angela in our party, she can actually be a very good support unit. Magic is not good for attacking. Magic is good for buffing in this game. Magic for attack sucks. Magic for healing sucks as well. You've heard this all before, but let's get him. Angela might die. This guy will be stunned once I hit him with my sword. This guy can be frozen if I use practice and wisdom. Dang it, missed. Oh, Angela, please get one turn in. Please get one turn in, Angela. Okay, I'm gonna use magic on Aragon. I'm gonna use a strength spell. Nope, is it a light spell? It is a light spell. I'm gonna use a weak spot. I wanna make it as weak as possible. There we go. Now, next turn. Aragon will do double damage. If he lives. Who am I, Brom? Who the heck am I? Yeah, I'm Aragon. Okay, good. And I just did double damage to that guy. Start using loss. Oh, god, Angela is almost dead. Okay. One more. I'll use. Yeah, I'm gonna use another weak spot on Aragon, and he'll do double damage once again, and Angela's gonna bite the dust when she gets hit one more time. Like right there, okay. But it was worth it, I got rid of all those guys. Okay, that guy's frozen. Ow. Stun him again. He's gone, freeze him. This is like the first fight in the game that actually took strategy. It's amazing. Alright, we did it. 
Alright, so what is the hell grind thirst? What does it do? The hell grind thirst is a sacrifice weapon. Did that say did that give me no agility? Holy crap, why would I even use this? Well let's see what happens. Let's ask Sephira what sacrifice does. Alright, status effects. Sacrifice. Is a curse. It allows the weird to be inflicted with bleed the whole time. Okay, so it's a powerful weapon, but I will be bleeding the entire time. How much more do I get out of this? I get about 50 more damage out of it, but I lose all my agility. That is not worth it. And I'm bleeding. Why on earth would you make me wear that? Alright. So let's see what else we can do. You don't want Angela to be an herbal at all, I, I, I remember this correctly. You don't want her to be doing anything, uh, anything related to herbology. Rob from Gilad, he's that Rob. Uh, he's just gonna leave us outside. So they're gonna using magic to eavesdrop. All right, Jod can get us into the castle. Aragon can't read. Alright, let's go do a pointless minigame. What say you? Hopefully I can get this right very quickly and end your suffering. That's what family does. Alright, so. Tony, Julio, Sammy, and Donnie. <laughs> okay, so instead of actually learning how to read, we have to talk to them in the right order and make a sentence out of it. Dragons. Nope, that's not it. I got it wrong. Alright, I got it. Dragons never sleep like me. Yeah, this is a very dumb minigame, but oh well. Alright, we got a rigid hammer. Finally, a hammer we can use for crafting. Alright, next one. R. Nope, I got it wrong. Okay, so... It's, it's R, U, and Urgle. Okay, R, U, and... Ergo! Got a lightweight stone. Alright, one more lesson, I think. Sword. Nope. To my. Nope. Sharp. Say hello. Okay, I got it. I got it. Say hello. To my. Sharp. Sword! We did it! Alright, we're ready to go. But since we got that... Actually, no. We're good. We're good. Let's just keep going. Forget about it. I was gonna forge a little bit more, but who cares? Got a friend's gift, usable by Braum. That was not the letter that we... That was actually not the letter. That is actually a sword. 
It's a militant slayer. It's an amazing blade. And now I kind of feel like we should probably go ahead and forge that. Forging is actually kind of essential in this game, especially later, when all the things you can forge give you status effects. It's amazing. For now, though, we have buffs. Alright. Solid Starlight has been taken care of. Stun, poison, all that. Now I have hammers, so I can give Aragon something. Give him that, rigid hammer. This freedom chain needs tongs. Alright. Arm and speed, arm and tough. I'd rather not lose my speed. Another rigid hammer. Alright. Brom can use our friend's gift. And give him the lightweight stone. The... Ooh, I can give him the poison oil if I wanted to. Uh, give him the ability to poison everyone on the screen. It's very tempting. It's very tempting. I might do that. Then again, he's a militant slayer, so maybe I don't want to do that. I'll give him the polishing oil and the delicate oil. Ring coif. We have brat. Oh, he's, he's already got that. Ring mail. Already got that. Okay. Angela. Eh. Angela can use stamps on her stuff. Let's see. Banded mail. Iron tongs, brass tongs. Why not? Iron staff. Lightweight stone. Ghost band. Strength stamp. Protection stamp. Marine stamp. Yeah, what the heck, let's use all the stamps. The ghost band's pretty good. And with that, I think it's a good time to stop. Next time, we'll go ahead into the castle, or the fortress, or whatever it is, and we'll go ahead and read where the Razak have been and where they're going to be going, so we can finally revenge our uncle! This is Nemo27 wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Have a good day.